<sighs> I'm having trouble with my videos. <clears throat> the last one, I don't even know what happened. Anyway, ant people, they're real. Dr. Michael Sala, YouTube. Latest conversation with Army dude named JP. JP has the right DNA to go on all these spacecraft and into all these uh, underground places that are inhabited by benevolent beings. The non benevolent beings underground, I think they've pretty much wiped out. Woohoo! Is it cold? So, uh, these, there's an entrance in Florida, there's these entrances on, in the big parks, you know, where people go missing all the time, they kind of explain some of that, uh, but a lot of those people, they come back weeks later deceased, so, uh, but there's always a counterfeit for the good one, right, hopefully copycat bad ones copying the good because the ant people say they take them in and let them live there if they want and they live to be a couple hundred years old and live quite well you know who'd want to leave right anyway uh, the ant people gave JP some kind of a device that if you hold it it heals you not bad and you let them take it with them so we've got that now and uh uh, ant people, the king of the ant people said that they were going to uh, start coming up to the surface and showing themselves. And, uh, and the, uh, they have some giants, uh, some giants they've kept, I think there's like 12 of them or something like that, in stasis. And the ant people have been charged with uh, protecting the sleeping giants. And uh, he said they're being woken up. And then all these arcs. These spaceship arcs that are planted all around the planet, and there's some on the moon, some on Ganymede, and other planets, and so forth. They're like library ships. They're thousands of years old. And they tell us, you know, they can, you go in there and you can learn everything about everything. And these ships have come online in the last year, and they're, they're heating up and, and uh, sending out signals, much like Independence Day. So hopefully these will happen good beings on them, because in these arcs there are beings in pods as well as information, but uh, these arcs are starting to warm up and they're, they're going to breach the surface soon. Uh, I believe what has to happen here is they get rid of the, the, the bad guys and then the military is in control, then we have uh, new elections are announced and then uh, uh, sorry, the sorry kicks in, and then everybody's happy and on a roll. And then they can handle the ETs are real information a lot better. So the ETs are real might take uh, a few months after Nasara comes in. Maybe I, I don't see why it would take any longer. A few months to a couple years, but I, I really don't see why it would take that long. Because they're going to release the 600,000 patents, and most of them came from the extraterrestrials. So we'll get all that connection and be like, oh, okay, well, where are they? Oh, here they are, okay. So the ant people are not extraterrestrial, I don't think. I think they're just one of the races, and there's more than one that's always been in the center of the earth. And, uh, but I believe they're going to start out with. Uh, introducing us to extraterrestrials that look more like us. Like the Tigetan ship is parked off our... There's many ships parked up there. Aren't there? Come on. One for the camera. Anyway. Tigetan ship is parked up there. There's some YouTube videos. One of the girls on the... Cooper. Ships is sitting. She used to go through Cosmic Agency, but now she's, I think her name is Swaru, or I don't know. She's sending out her own videos. 
A lot of them are over my head, but it's very hard to do without shutting the camera off. I probably did. I probably already did, didn't I? Nope, still going. Anyway, uh, down so badly it's like the movie Idiocracy that's what they were going for and we, the Alliance halted that and now it's being reversed <clears throat> but they're still in the stupid stupid uh, category really stupid I mean just wow wow like that guy lives with me seeing an ET craft seen it and he's convinced it was a drone. A drone, right. Jesus. Sat there for a couple hours up in the sky, and then another one came up to it and zipped off, and that's drones, right? What drone do you know can sit there for a couple hours? And why would it be up over South Carolina? I know why it would be near the Blue Ridge Mountains, because there's a base there, but I think it's in Pennsylvania. According to Dr. Michael Sala, Elena Dannon. Anyway, I think it's all happening. Just keep breathing. And uh, Mr. T is going to come on Twitter with the storm is upon us somewhere along the line. And when that happens, it's rolling. It's, it's, it's going full speed at that point. Have a good one.